Welcome to Titley Scientific's tutorial video series for Anabat Insight. Today we will learn how to create a basic filter and run a search on that filter. To begin, we will click on the filter tab in the project panel. I can see that there are two bat species calling, but I would like to filter one of them. Using the show call metrics, I can see there is a bat around 46 kHz and another around 55 kHz so I can use the characteristic frequency to filter the species. Let's say I only want to see the 46 kHz bat. In the filter, I will choose a minimum characteristic frequency of 40 and a maximum of 50. Make sure to click outside of the maximum window to activate the filter. You can see that the 46 kHz bat calls have been highlighted. I can turn the highlight calls off and on here. Alternatively, I can use compress mode to only see the calls which are passing the filter. If I disable the filter, you can see all the passes in compress mode. With the filter enabled, only calls between 40 and 50 kHz are displayed. You can save your filter by clicking here. Choose the location, give your filter a name, then click save. Now we'll search the whole data set for this 40 to 50 kHz bat. Click on the search tab. Ensure you've selected search. Choose your criteria type, in this case, filter. Then choose if you want to see files that match your filter. Then select your filter. You can see here the most recent filter is the 40 to 50 kHz filter we just created. Then click add. The search criteria will appear in the search bar. Now we will choose the analysis settings. These should match your viewing settings. You can see here I'm viewing these files with a built-in smoothness of 5 and a ZC threshold of 17. So we will change these analysis settings to match these. Then we'll scroll down and click Run Search. Once complete, the search will open the Results tab. Here are a list of files that passed your filter search. You can open one of these and then scroll through the files. Now we will add an action to the search. Our filter criteria is still here, so we'll add an action. We'll add a species label to all the files which passed the search. Choose a species from your species lists Then click Add. You can see my search criteria and action. Now I'll run the search again. This time you can see all the files that passed the filter have automatically been labelled with species A. Another common use for filters is to create an Allbats filter. We have supplied an example Allbats filter for you to use. In recent filters, just select All Bats. This filter is designed to pass most clear bat pulses, but you can have a go at creating your own. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, email us at insight at scientificcom